started surfing her stiff, mangled corpse and actually caught a monster wave. <laughs> hang 10, man. Hang 10. <laughs> Welcome to episode number dozen of the Marty and Michael Fully That's Actual 12, Podcast. If you don't know that. And today we are in quarantine. There's this thing going around. It's just getting a bit of traction called coronavirus. It's on the news. You get sick. You get sick and you die. So stay inside, everyone. Our shit talk is really nothing. What do we do on the weekend? What do we do? I went and saw the boys. Our friend, James, almost, he got attacked by a snake. He oh, had a dance with that's it. cool. Yeah, James nearly got, uh, one of our very, very good friends nearly died when I, we, my, I wasn't there, but Michael and Matt from Wholesome. He um, Gregory works at Wholesome there in Milton and they've got a big headquarters there. And what Wholesome does is they sell a lot of concrete, right? So, is if you're a business or just, you know, a sole trader and you want some concrete to you know, fill in a driveway or some something like that. You call yeah, Wholesome, shed. right? You call Wholesome and Matthew then gets the call and he sort of divvies the work in amongst the people that charge. he has he's there. In he's, he's in charge of them. And the headquarters are in Milton, Brisbane, Wholesome oh, Concreting. Sure. Gregory, anyway, Matt, Gregory Brown. So, he was, Matt was there. Gregory. Matt was there and he was wearing a Wholesome I was there. shirt. Yeah, other people were there, but mainly Matt was there. Yeah. And James nearly got walking, nearly stood on a fucking snake a and it baby was baby brown snake and they can't control their venom striking at him trying to bite Having him a dance jumping over it i, I saw can't him striking. believe it i i fuck me that would have been so fucked to see oh he, disappointing he had though, a wasn't huge it? adrenaline rush after it he was screaming you saw it matt gregory brown from wholesome he was screaming matt, matt. gregory brown yeah but he was more um concrete he sort of jumped around danced around it and it was trying to get at him and then he had like a sudden adrenaline rush and started just going, woo! Yeah, yeah, like he flow. did. Yeah, yeah. Okay, if we want to get to another topic of shit talk, one thing, pet hate of mine, and I fucking, something happen, it happens to me now and then. Do you ever look with your eyes? No. Do you ever do I that? I only ever use my chest and upper neck. Okay, see, I look with my eyes and sometimes I see like fucking off eyebrow hairs that I can't fucking get them to stay up. But I also see older friends that are getting older. Greg Smith, this is you. He has eyebrow hairs that are like the length of pubes. Un have you seen older men and their eyebrow pubes. hairs get fucking yeah. long? I have to rip them out. Yeah, it's and not now on. I can see one hanging down across my face. There's Give one me like one. that. Like, there's some vision. Can you see one curled down? No. Maybe it's an eyelash. Or maybe it's just a, a bit of, um. what do you call it? Your... Uh eye is degenerating whatever they call it you're getting that tunnel vision thing it's a small spot in the cataracts and then it just grows and you're blind you'll have white eyes within six months could be that too with ms um, yeah anyway that's that's shit talk <coughs> um, how was your weekend i can't even remember what we me and mon we just what we just drank and then just filmed weird tiktoks what we do now on our date nights and shit fun but like I can't wait to go outside sometimes. Yeah, well, I've I guess we went outside for exercise with electric skateboards. Yeah, yeah, we went out to skate normal skateboarding and um, yeah. Let's not. Uh, um, we also found a giant beehive mm. in the tree. What did you do to a mat, huh? What'd no, you, we left you it alone. Fucking concrete it, it up. Let me guess. <laughs> Let me guess. You ordered a cubic meter of fucking concrete and a fucking truck, drop it off, and you fucking. And just in he filled it in, filled it. You with filled it in concrete, cunt. Did you honey flavored concrete? Oh, you get it from there. wholesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was there, but did you? I'm never there, really. Fuck. That's not a DJ. My life, life on the floor. All right, so that's our shit talk out of the way, and um, which- um, I just wanted to update you on the brown snake. I wasn't entirely sure if the fact um that baby browns inject. Lots of venom and, un- and can't control it, so I sort of checked it out. Ooh, um, it actually says uh, they don't actually uh, inject; they only, or they only inject a small amount. There you go. Michael's it's a myth. But, it's a myth. but it is enough to kill him. Fucking James's mum said it. Michael's no, it's wrong more again. Um, not, not cross-checking his his. It's not sources. all snakes, but um, one of the most known snakes for not being able to control their venom is rattlesnakes. Mm. 
Rattlesnakes, baby rattlesnakes. I tend thought to that. We yeah, don't have them control. here. It's I not- thought that. I didn't want to say because I hadn't double checked my sources, but California. Exactly. Yeah, but it can still kill you. Can? Can. Can. Not concrete? Like a. No. Like tin? Like tin a can. can. <laughs> Confused there. Is it can? It can? Man, Matt's got his wholesome shirt on. Man, that's weird. That confusing. It, sh- the can- it shouldn't be a can. A can of. Soft drink shouldn't be called that. Why not make a different word up for a that? A tin, or just call it a puck. A pound. P u u j. Pudge. Pound. A, a, a noise that's not allocated to any other object. Just use that instead of can, because can's already used. I can. I can do this. You know what I mean? That's what a, a charity. Stu- I what can. A stupid, I Stupid. What a stupid fucking thing. Oh, let's let's name a tin can after. Uh, after something there's already a word for it like it'd be like it'd be like me nay oh let's call this glass here run oh this is run oh i get that now it's like saying if like a table was if yeah like just fucking come up with some different noises for these things god it's getting hard to you know just make sure everyone understands I'm this one and close to ending bottling it. i'm this close to ending it all right um so, uh, as part of our shit talk, um, we have the on this day part. And um, again, Matt Brown came in. He's clearly on some sort of amphetamine, I'm guessing, Matt. Maybe meth. LSD. Cocaine. That's okay. not LSD. LSD. No, 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 no. LSD does have amphetamine properties. But he came in crazy eyes. His pupils were huge. There was basically no white in his eyes. He was uh, naked except for um, some snow boots that he was wearing. And, and he, handed, plugs. he had earplugs in. And he handed me the on this day facts for this week. And let me tell you something. Wow. Wow. Is it, has he fucking done it again? Every week. I don't know. Like, it must just... A one day of his entire he week even, is dedicated to He came to in at 4.30, four but phase. he had a nap. He had. He tried to have a nap. He kept grabbing at me. Like, some of these, and they get... I think they become more fucked as you go. Like, but yeah, some of these, it's just like, you wouldn't You wouldn't read about it. Like, you, and like you can see why the media hides this, these facts. Because the, the, what you're finding out, it's sort of, it's like, it ruins your perception of things. Anyway, let's get into it. <clears throat> On this day in 1989, Tom Hanks was found stuffing turkey mints in a small crack in the ground and fucked it with his testicles whilst high on meth. How would you, that would be hard? You'd have to use your fingers to get the testicles. Yeah, you'd have in. to thumb your testicles into the crack and then pull them out again, thumb them in, pull them out, thumb them and in. And maybe the motion of your testicles going in and out would maybe stimulate Make you, you to be able to fuck. I would imagine. Come. Yeah. Toy Story. Toy Story. Toy Story 4. 5. How many are there now? Nine. On this day in 1998, a Holden Commodore went on a raping spree whilst hammer drunk before being shot to death by a Ford Falcon. This is what started their great rivalry. I always wondered. I thought it was like a business rivalry, but it turns out that it was a some sort of social scenario that started the rivalry. I reckon you're more likely to get raped by someone who drives... By a Holden Commodore. No, just by the car itself. I reckon by someone who drives a Holden Commodore and a Ford Falcon. Then you would be I a, think that's a... Mis- say, no, say a... What's it called? Mitsubishi Swift? Suzuki Swift? Oh, fucking same thing. I think that's a misconception that the cars sort of that stereotype was created because the cars would do these things and it turned, the drivers were just like, what? I just they bought were passengers. the car. They were passengers. Yeah, I, well, I didn't fucking rape. The, the car did. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. And okay. then they get blamed. Hence why Holden's shutting down. Crazy. Matt Brown from Wholesome. V8. Coming up with these. V8. In 1938, the Dalai Lama set large rat traps in and around an orphanage housed with blind orphans for his own amusement. Wow. He, he would sneak around for hours and watch as the poor blind orphan stumbled into his traps. You wouldn't think the Dalai Lama would do that. Is Apparently, you yeah. You always hear he's doing good things, right? And Wasn't like, he a kid when he became the Dalai like, Lama? It was, yeah, it was a, it's a hobby. It's just a side hobby, but still it's like... It's quite dark. Yeah, very sick thing to do. Well, apparently, the blind orphans were just crying as they walked around. Didn't have like a cane or a guide dog, obviously. And they were just falling straight into these huge, very large rat traps. And, and it would break their feet, break their hands. There was the, even a few accounts where it broke the femur. The femur bone. The thigh bone in a, in a child's body. That's the hardest body. bone to snap too. 
So, Apparently. so you know, when people talk about the Dalai Lama, don't don't just he's he's a, he's fucked. He's a fucked <laughs> man. Oh, 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 fucking hell, we are dumbing down society. Actually, have you ever broken a bone? Yeah, of course I've broken a bone. No, you haven't. No, you haven't. What bone? My arm when I was three years old. <laughs> when you were German. Mm, Didn't you break course. your nose, Marty? Yeah, man, I've broken my nose oh, multiple yeah, yeah. times. What about like, so you've actually broken your arm? Yes. Ask yes, me spent. that question. Have you ever broken a bone? No, no, never. Oh, I'm crazy. Oh. Oh, look at me. I do crazy <laughs> shit and never break bones. Shut up. No, I, I, I can't recall. I can't recall. But I'm pretty sure I haven't. On this day in 1995, the Backstreet Boys made a deal with Lucifer to poison the minds of young children in exchange for immortality. The deal fell apart when Lucifer developed feelings for Nick Carter and the other members became jealous. Lucifer and Nick still talk occasionally and sometimes Nick even sucks on his doodle. (laughs) Doodle was the climax. Doodle was the climax then, Matt. Well done, Matt. I was wondering Matt, why they did that. I was wondering why the Backstreet Boys made music like that, but they had a deal. <laughs> oh, man. Doodle honestly, is the silliest word ever. Doodle. It, clear, doodle. it clears things. <laughs> it's confusing to hear out loud, but then after it's like, oh, yeah. What do you reckon is better? Like, sense. if you wanted to describe a male genitalia, would you call it dick, cock, doodle, or f- flask? I'd call it engorged appendage. Ooh, that's pretty scientific. Mm, yeah, yeah, I'm quite like that. <laughs> We're all engorged appendages, really. Matt? Wholesome. Fire. Fire someone. Done. It's done. He sent an email. It's finished. <laughs> He's actually got this to you. <laughs> Ruin someone's life. All right, that uh, rounds up our shit talk. And um, let me just tell you, everyone, first of all and second of all, first of all, everyone who sent things to Matt Brown 1111, the Instagram account. Oh, wow, wow, wow. He he's, he's, was messaging us last night. He's like, boys, like, there's people are sending me pictures of dead animals, the dicks getting fucked by other shit, people burning alive, all this fucked up shit. And we were just like... Uh, I want it, it. Sounds it's, it's a bit weak. It was a bit weak. Oh, I'm going to say thank you. What was the worst? Yeah, Matt? yeah. A thank Tell you, us. but Matt, what's the worst? Honestly, oh, the dead animals were <laughs> confronting, but but it wasn't that bad. Like you were watching women getting murdered, yeah, children on. getting murdered. I'm getting okay. there. I'm getting there. Um, somebody sent me a um, I think it was a rat or or, or a rat type of. <laughs> Someone sent me a rat with a, and they'd stuck a needle, like pin, thumbtacks into its eyes. Oh, it was dead. fuck um, me! People sent me roadkill and a lot of dicks as well. Yeah, I would not be able to handle that. I would hate to see. But that. yeah, the worst. Uh, I got sent an Instagram page, and uh, it just had the the worst of the worst. Very dark. A lot of murder on there. Yeah, so so, yeah. so I was I was pretty ruined for about an hour this morning. All right, so it did get got to him a bit, but you know, step it up. Mike and I were thinking like it's good, but it's it's weak. It's a bit weak. Follow him too. He deserves that. If you yeah, follow him. That. So you, so whenever you come across some content that you feel like showing Matt, so that it's ready on hand, you can just send it to him straight away. So That's this week, let's let's step it up from. Like a six out of ten to what, like an eight and a half, nine out of ten? Step it up. Send him some shit. I want to. I want to. I want s- him to like. I want him to not want to do this anymore. I want him to come in next week and be like, and not talking. If, if he kills himself, then you've done your job. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, you don't have to, but do it. Um, secondly, um, this podcast is sponsored by uh, the University of Michael, our website. We've got hours and hours of unseen content on there. Oh, it's crazy. It's crazy. You can't see it anywhere else. You see us really hurt each other very badly. Hours and hours. It's only $5 US a month. Oh, my God, that's crazy. Plus, you get a two-week trial. So, you can see the content and decide whether you want to pay or you can leave without any charge to you. Zero risk. Oh, my God. Sign up. Fucking sign up. I shouldn't have to do that. You should just be signed up now. Anyway, cut everything I just said then. <laughs> cut everything I said. But leave him saying cut everything I just said. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Next segment. My dick then. <laughs>
Next segment has been renamed to Mutually Feel She said to scatter the brain to the con and turn us at a tiny children that's a ton to con. And this is a segment where we just answer questions that you guys have sent in via that's Instagram. Mick Om Hofvigalk. Mick Om Mikomi Hokovic. Mikoma Hokovic. Mikoma Hokovic. He's Dutch. I think he's a spy. Marty. <laughs> Speak of the devil. What would you do if you walked into Michael's room and there was a Sudanese man in the corner recording Michael being gangbanged by two very aggressive monitors? Which I think Minotaurs. Like, uh, half, it's like the half bull, half, half human. Yeah, yeah. Um, half human, half cow. Um, if, I, if Michael doesn't know what they are. Oh, fuck, he knew. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was half horse, half human. What's a half horse, half human? It's a Maccabi diva. Ah, oh, the old Jack, the old Jackala. Um, I would, um, I would break up with Michael. I would, le- I would cut all ties. I'd leave. I'd move to New South Wales in Sydney. I'd move to the beach and I'd start a um, pillowcase business. I'd sew it myself. I'd learn how to sew, sew really nice patterns in them, and I'd sell that. And I would have nothing to do with him anymore because that is not fair on me. It's not fair. Why? Because I fucked an animal half human. Yep. But it has to be straight up cow. So don't, don't do that. All right. Otherwise, I will react like that. Don't fucking push me, cunt. I, I didn't, don't I'm not fucking gonna, push me. Not going to. The reason people ask that question is they can see in your eyes that you want to get fucked by minotaurs while there's a Sudanese guy filming in the corner. You can see in your fucking eyes. Hey, yeah, everyone's got their fantasies. <laughs> KVP Blue. <laughs> question for the podcast. If. <laughs> If you were both stranded on an island with no food and one had to eat the other to survive, who would volunteer to be eaten? Michael would volunteer to be I'd, eaten. I'd tear his flesh from his No, bones. I reckon- Within half an hour of being on the island. We don't even know that we're there alone and I'd be ripping strips of flesh from his bones. You wouldn't want to eat me. I would. There's not even much meat to me. It's already from this it's marinated pottery. in beer and bourbon. I just want to rip that flesh off and stuff it in my mouth. Oh, so it's beer. juicy. I'm beer battered. Juicy beer battered. alcohol filled. Every time I bite into it, it's a mixture of <laughs> blood and vodka pouring down my throat. <laughs> You'd be dead within an hour. Okay. Ah. I won't. I won't go on island. I guess with you. Let's not go to an island for a holiday. Yeah. <laughs> we live on an island awesome. We live on the biggest island in the world Everything's an island man Fucking earth's an island cunt <laughs> In space <laughs> The burp got me then <laughs> Earth's fucking island in space cunt In space Southern Cross sounds <laughs> it's an island cunt <laughs> Southern Cross is fucking Factured into the matrix cunt <laughs> And the Southern Cross is the universe. <laughs> Some people actually think that. <laughs> All right, I need to calm down. That was one of the best things you've ever said to me. <laughs> <laughs> Southern Cross is the <laughs> Southern Cross is the universe. That's so fucked. Oh, Anzac Day. All right, now. Next question is from Riley.money4. Do you use... Do you find shit for money or for fun? Both now. Well, we started for off for fun. We did it this for like, what, three to four years. Without a cent being paid to us for no money, only for a few views we'd... Destroy Hit golf balls into each other. We'd, We'd hack get flesh off our bones with for thumb, you dogs. Like thumbtacks put on tennis balls. Hit them with tennis rackets into each other. People called us insane. We were and we are. Yeah. But now we just it's just a stroke of luck that someone gives us money for it. Oh, look, it's 420. Yes. So, yeah, it's a both for fun and for money. If you do your hobby for long enough, you will get paid for it. You become a master. So if your hobby is... Collecting Pokemon cards, you, you do can it sell for long that enough, shit. you will get paid for it, and then it's like, oh, am I doing this for the money or for fun? Both. The Look at like, both. it's like people who think about it, who fucking grow plants. No, no, think about like the priests, Catholics. You do what you love for long enough, and then you there's fuck no kids. repercussions. 
Oh. Uh, uh, you do what you love for long enough, you end up fucking kids. <laughs> for priests, for Catholic, for churches. Cut that, Connor. <laughs> oh, I like that yeah, one. Yeah, I like that one. Yeah, that one's okay. So leave it in and leave me saying cut yeah, that. Yeah, all right. Now you get it. <laughs> all right. Now, uh, next one's from Mill underscore Warris. How old were you when you had your first marijuana smoke and will you ever prank Nigel again? Let me tell you something. Don't right. smoke pot till you are of age in the... Ow, I hit my eye. Damn, I just poked myself in the eye. I, well, we both, did I, not, we both of us, like I grew up what, what around- were we, like 21, 22? I grew, up, I grew up around people who smoked weed all the time, but I was just always a bit wary and, and just never wanted to do it as I was like 16, 17, 18. Then we went to Amsterdam when we were like 21 and 20. That's when we smoked for the first time and we didn't We start, had a few years. Yeah. And it's legal there and it's fun. And then after that, you realize, oh, it's not that big a deal. And then you sort of, you know, the older you get, the more you realize weed is like, it's it helps nothing. you. Like it's, it's, uh, hel- it's, it's actually- alcohol to weed, weed all the way because you don't fuck your body. Don't smoke. Even just condense it to oil. Have a teaspoon of oil each night. It yeah, helps you don't have you to smoke. The smoking part is unhealthy, but there's lots of really good things about weed. So, so weed. So we only uh, really only started using weed regularly when twenty three, twenty four. Yeah, I was about twenty six. I was about twenty five. And even and then, it, became, it wasn't. Even then, it wasn't regular. It only turned into you know a, a, a more. There was a period where we were fucking stoners, and like, I'm not. But not I don't really. wake was- and bake now. I might have it like every second day. Look, yeah. <laughs> late at night to help to help relax. Like at like I'm talking like eight nine p.m. right before bed. Have a bit of weed. Help like helps me fall asleep. I know that the, you don't get quite the deep sleep, but I prefer seven hours of not deep sleep over four hours of somewhat deep sleep. So and like think about it. You go to a party or you have a gathering with your close friends. Matt from Wholesome. James. Works there. Matt works at Wholesome. Friends, right? Uh, fucking Huge mono. company. We're there. We could all get pissed as shit. Or we could just smoke a vape or have a bit of weed oil. And then you can giggle your asses off. Be creative. Love each other more. It's, it's a fucking good drug. It's not even a drug. It's a medicine. But, but having said that. Wait until your brain is developed yeah. before you start doing it. Don't do it at 14. Don't do it at 16. I'd say wait till like 25 if you can. Yeah, if you can. You can do it occasionally. Everything in modera- moderation is like that. <laughs> and to be honest, we'll have to cut back our weed use eventually too if we want to maintain our really happy, healthy brains. Yeah, it's <laughs> exactly. It's special occasions and- It is to enhance certain social occasions. That is what you use drugs for. That's why they were invented. Don't talk to me. Don't fucking talk to me. I'll stop. Nigel's not really into the social media stuff so so much anymore. But if you've had a car or work accident in the last three years, send Nigel a message on Instagram, on Facebook, anywhere and let him know. Because he's the fucking guy to go to. And I know it sounds like a scam and it sounds like, oh, what the fuck? I've never heard of this shit before. Just trust us. Just trust us and message him. If the accident wasn't your fault, just message him. All right? If you're from Australia and just find out because we're not talking shit. It's science. It is. It's a scientific fact. Madison.low88. Do impersonations. All right. You give me an impersonation. I'll give you one. I want you to be Judge Judy. Let me just think. Channel her. Go in. Meditate. It's happening. I I can feel her being pushed into my nurse. Okay, okay, shut up. No, no, you let me talk now. You are dumb. You're a stupid motherfucker. You don't know nothing. Yeah, dude, that sounds like her, but with less language. Yeah. Because she normally swears way more. Uh, who should I be? Um, you be um, you be Delta Goodrum. I'm not a fan of her at all. On so the voice. I'm not going to. Okay. Stop feeling that. Nah. Don't, that's a it finger. Started. I don't can't stop it. I can't stop it now. No. Enough. I'm trying to be Delta. I can't stop it once I start it. Don't You're ask me Brian, to. Brian Don't McFadden. ask me to stop. You're being it makes Brian me go McFadden. for longer. Pretend there's a button here. Okay. Stop touching I me. I can't. <sighs> All right, I'm pressing the button. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, you're great. Is she American? We don't do impersonations. Yeah, we're not that good at that. We, we can do specific things like animals and... Um, <laughs> I'll try and do Delta You try and do Judge Judy Alright ready 
shit! Oh no. Oh shit. Oh, Guy Sebastian's just spilt beer all over the mics. No, that's I'm Delta. No, I'm being Delta. You're got you're the judge next to me, or you're Guy Sebastian. That's not how to DJ DJ so DJ, life, DJ, life, DJ life, life on the floor. And that's my Delta impersonation. That's harboring anger. <laughs> now I feel bad. Sorry, Matthew. Oh, don't! My hand's weak. I'm squeeze I can't your arm as hard as I can. I'm I can't s- hold it for that long. I'm squeeze as hard as I can. I'm trying to pierce the and skin with you my can fingers. Wipe it underneath just in case. <sighs> Stop yeah. doing it. I'm really trying to pierce the skin me. with my hands there. God damn. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Do you want me to wipe underneath with the just underneath? That'd that? be good. Yeah. Since you yeah. made the mess, it'd be great if you could do that. That's not a DJ, DJ, DJ in my life. If you worked at Wholesome, you would be out on your ass faster than you could say, <laughs> where's this concrete going? <laughs> oh, no. You'd be... Cr- <laughs> Am I fired, Matt? He's got a concrete mind. Mm, look at his small little his button nose. His always set in concrete. If I could have a nose, I'd want Crete. that one. Look at mine, how bulbous mine is at the end. Yeah, it was it's just, just on the sharp corner. And just gets to the point. All right, we're good. We're good. Everything's safe. Moving on, next question. I can't, I want to piss. Well, go on then. <laughs> no! <laughs> You've shown me your cards, boy. I will thrust them into the bin. <laughs> <laughs> Trash. All right, next one's from test.gage. What is your biggest desire at the moment? Look, I just want to have a space where I can um, sit down and have no distractions. And I just want to be alone and be. I just want to be. So that's my goal. Right? Yeah, I'd love like six months of nothing to do and I just fucking hold up and play all the games I wanted to play. Like meth. Red- Michael wants to smoke meth for no, six months. Red- no, <laughs> Red Dead Redemption 2, all these other games that I've been will- like wanting to play Michael's for years. Michael's pushing The Witcher 3 and Ma- I can't because Michael's I've got pushing- fucking obligations to be- Michael wants to try and back up content so that he can go on a six month meth sm- smoking spree and just do nothing for six months. That's what he wants to do. The only time I did meth was with you. What I want most from this moment is just to make the most of the, the opportunities moment. that we have. I just want to not waste what we have now built. And that is all I want. I just want to continue. I just want to remember why we started and then continue to do that. Yeah. Let's not let the bottle get the better of us. And, let's and remember, we're, we're, on, we're in control. Let us remember the purpose of why we started in the beginning. To being not this to being not this wholesome wholesome next question is from j underscore dan Dan 34 34. we got to your question dude we did it if you could travel back to any time in any fucking cut cut (laughs) here we go again no no this is the one okay next question j underscore dan 34 we got to your question finally we got to your question finally if you could travel back in Third time tape. to any historical event, what would it be? I'd travel back to the Second World War. <laughs> Here we fucking go. No. No. And I would inform the Germans that uh, what they're doing does not have a good outcome. <laughs> and I would explain the strategies of the Allied forces. And... Uh, then I would come back to this time and see if I had affected any change. Because I know I'm safe. <laughs> oh my fucking God. Don't call me that. Just call me Marty. Okay, sorry, Marty. So much pressure Fuck. when you call me God. No, I'd go back to when you're a baby. And as you're coming out of your mum, you'd you'd finger her a bit. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, you would do that. I know you would. You'd be half out of her. You'd pop your arm out and then you'd stuff your little baby fist back down and fuck her a little bit because you're twisted like that. <laughs> no, no, no. I'd go, I'd go back to like my 12-year-old self and I'd say, stop playing fucking tennis. And start and smoking wasting, <laughs> And wasting your life. For a sport that you're not going to use any of this in the future. Right. All right. Let's fast forward four years. We would have never met. You wouldn't be sitting here. You'd be fucking working at Woolworths and you'd be fat and gross. Dog. I'm not a dog though. Oh, yeah. Oh, maybe I could have been. 
But yeah, no, I'd tell myself to put more time into things at work, not a sport that gave me nothing. <laughs> tennis gave us everything. No. You don't see it. I don't like tennis, but tennis gave us everything. Discipline. And people. But I'd know to make sure I went to Kelvin Grove and I would have met up with you because I would have told my fucking kid self. I never would have met up with you. You were in a year below me. I never would have spoken. No, I would have come and hey, I love your tennis, Marty. Remember? And you would be like, oh, I've got a fan. I would have been your first fan. I'm like, come along. Come along to Toowoomba like you did. I and you would have pissed on me with all your mates. I that scenario. Yeah, so that's why I would have told... I would have gave him the whole debrief You of would what not to do. have come down to the tennis course and been like, oh, hey, man. No, if I... <laughs> No, if I told my younger self to do that, yeah, I said just make sure you fucking. I would have thought you were a fucking freak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just on the sidelines. I want to come to Walmart with you, man. <laughs> Piss on me with all your friends, please. <laughs> and you would have told your past self to speak in an American accent. <laughs> yeah. And then just come back to the future or the now and watch how fucked that person's life would be. <laughs> yeah, the, I'm you know, American, man. I'm, I'm, he would have been on me. My future self told me to talk <laughs> like this. I don't know what you mean. <laughs> oh, Delta Goodrum. Delta Goodrum. And that is our impersonation of Delta Goodrum and Judge Judy. All right. All right. This is from yoga <laughs> underscore Indra 24. Why did you choose the great Stephen Hawking's? We've already answered and this. And not... Like Nikola Tesla or any other scientists. We chose Stephen Hawking's because he is a man who knows. He's a man who knows. And that yeah, was but, his that's what's written on his gravestone. But like Nikola Tesla is pretty fucking rad, but he was hidden hard. He's yeah, of there's a movie coming out on Nikola Tesla and, and if you research Nikola Tesla a little bit, yeah, some people think he was hidden hard, but he was also competing with a lot of other inventors at the time and his biography that is um that has been recorded by people that are close to him say that he wanted to also be hidden and that he was competing with i forget the companies westinghouse and um and someone else and what he did he did get recognition for but there's a lot more to it it's not just he was hidden away and that's all he created free energy yeah so it's good that we kept going with again yeah it, it, yeah it, it's it, not, neither of us know enough about it yeah yeah well uh, yeah i definitely fucking think yeah nikola tesla should be one of that's yeah he'll be my new idol we should he should be it's but just, we're gonna hide him we're gonna forget the, about him the government's paying us that stephen hawking's is the guy to go to yeah and he's still alive <laughs> oh no oh, i overflowed it Stop! It's gonna... There's piss. There's a glass of piss. Oh, man. The table's all shaky. Stop ah! that! <laughs> hey. Sorry, I shouldn't have done that. That was my fault. That is sickening behavior. All right, that's story fucking time over. Slash question. Which leads us to our next segment. Matthew Brown. Gregory Brown, wholesome. Why is it wholesome? <laughs> the headquarters are in Milton there. Oh, he's got so many employees underneath him. He's the one in charge. Everyone goes to him. Oh, what am I doing today, Matthew? Oh, come into my office, he says. I will tell you what to do because I am so far up the ranks that I'll... Fired! <gasps> You're fired! <laughs> Get out of my office, cunt! <laughs> <laughs> and the next segment has been renamed to... <laughs> I can't stand it! Oh. Which is basically where a segment where we unbox our P.O. box... Gifts, and this week we have a, something that was sent to us. We don't have to pretend that something got sent to us. We were sent a letter <laughs> oh, to Marty and Michael. I like watching your videos; they make me laugh, and you two are very funny. <laughs> Keep up the amazing work you two both do. And P.S. Michael Rock Roulette time. Rock Roulette. Got it. From, from Josh. Thank you for your letter, Josh. It's beautiful. beautiful. 
Um, uh, uh, I don't know if we'll get around to sending you something back, but do you know what? Here's a thank you from... We did get something else in the podcast, Joshy. Let me just get it. One sec. Fuck, I don't know about that one. Oh, what's this one? So, we've also been sent this, and um, I'm just pretending that we got sent this, but we have been sent this from someone anonymous. Not really. I just went and rolled this hairspray up in a paper towel. We sent this. uh, We don't know what it is. It's actually hairspray. And uh, we'll open it now on the podcast because this is the PO unboxing. It sounds like you opened it. Oh my God, it's hairspray. And it's got a little little thing on it. And that's how you use it, I think. I haven't read the instructions, but I think that's how you use it. It's hard to breathe. <laughs> Anyway, that's the end of the PO unboxing. Thank you, Josh! No, no, no. I want to keep them for memories before yeah, I die. it's over there. It's we're keeping our memories. Run with Bosley. That's <laughs> not DJ to my life, life, life. On the floor. Next segment has been renamed to <gasps> Fuck the Priest and do it! And this is a segment where it's we... It's reverse. That's a reverse Catholic you just did. This is a segment where we uh, do a stunt. Both of us do a stunt. It's equal amount of pain for both of us. Uh, it's stunt time. It's stunt time with Marty and Michael. And, and we're, we're making, making memories. So believe in yourself. So for this week's stunt, oh, we are going to take it in turns to shoot each other with a Nerf gun and the Nerf bullet has a thumbtack glued to the fucking end of it. No, 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 no. I reckon scissors, paper, rocket because I don't want, I want a chance of getting out of it. All right. If you're going to be a fucking pussy about it. Yeah, all right. Well, scissors, paper, rock. The loser has to take a Nerf bullet. The loser has to drink the piss. Why are we drinking piss every week now? Okay. Okay. Oh, sorry. My mistake. Matt's going to say something. <laughs> he's laughing and nodding. He's shaking his head now and he's leaning back on his chair. He's looking at a still low. Maybe he's going to say it. Oh, but he leant forward. No, he's not going to say it. No, he's, he's, he's right being back in concrete. His chair now. He's being still now. His head's cocked back. He's not looking like he's going to say anything. Let's just wait a few more seconds. Scratching his head. Wait, try his and- <laughs> Nothing. He's not going to say it. Try and clink, like, make your teeth make sounds. The loser will take a uh, Nerf gun. Oh, that's cute. That's I like him when he does that. A Nerf gun bullet to the hand, and it's got a thumbtack super glue to the end of it. Okay? I will uh, describe it as best I can for you listening on Spotify. All right. Paper, scissors, rock to see who gets it to the hand. I'm going to go rock. So maybe you should go, I don't know, scissors or something. All right. All right, ready? Scissors, paper, rock. Yes! Fuck! Yes! I won Dude, that one. Dude, he's good at that, Matt. See Did that, see Matt? That? So, all right, now I'm going to shoot Michael in the fucking hand with a fucking... Is there mm. veins and shit in there? No, it's just nerves in your liver. Oh, okay. All right, so this gun here, you can't see on Spotify. It's like a meter long. Oh, shit. We've got, uh, we've got the bullets. I'm scared. You Can we scared. do the arm? I'd rather the arm. I'll shoot you wherever you fucking want, cunt. In here. Oh my god, that's stuck into the light. That's unbelievable. If, oh, I wish All right, so these that. shoot out and they um they, they yeah. stick in. So you're basically shooting a thumbtack at each other. All right, I need to stand up. Here we go. Oh no 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 no. Okay, now I'm getting nervous about Thursday because this shit's gonna be on our website. Wait wait wait. There's one in my body! <laughs> oh, God. Uh, okay, everyone. Um, I'm ready now. I've got this aimed at Michael's dumb fucking bitch arm. All right, ready? Oh, it's in his arm! That's in his arm. So it works, all right? Everyone, it fucking works. All right, we're giving Matt permission oh, to shoot us whenever he wants to for the rest of the podcast. All right, moving on to the next segment. <clears throat> The next segment has been renamed to... Mmm, what's that? Mm, what's that? I taste is that ginger. 
This juice is so thick and pulpy. I'm just gonna pour it down to my bag. <laughs> All right, it's time to run from something. We're gonna run. Are you ready, Michael? We don't know what is gonna be chasing us, but we're gonna run. Three, two, one. Run for fast! Oh my god! Fast and steel. What the fast fuck is it? No! so big, oh, man. Oh, hey. oh. oh, it's crushed oh, me, wait, man. Wait, wait a second. All right, next segment has been renamed to... Oh, <laughs> oh what's that? Oh, it tickles me. <laughs> That's not meant to be there, is it? You are my family. Do not do that. <laughs> Beat the bed! Oh. And this is a segment where we just do a prank call. <clears throat> oh, here we go. Matt, this... Absolute cooked unit got himself fried over the weekend in Melbourne. He doesn't remember shit. Give him the hangover movie treatment and let him know what retarded shit he did. Drop him in the name Cherry Bar. Drop in the name Cherry Bar. Ah, oh, right. Okay, I see what you're saying. All right, this is good. I'm going to pretend to be from... I'm going to pretend Security? to be... Security? Oh, I'm going to be a constable uh, Peter Wallen. You attacked a woman. Peter Wallen. Uh, from the Melbourne City uh, Police Precinct. Yep. And uh, we have CCT footage of Matt. Hello. Hello. I'm, uh, this is Peter Wallen from the Melbourne City Police Precinct. Is this? Um, am I speaking with Matthew? Uh, yeah, this is Matthew. Right. Do, do you have a, uh, a, a spare second to chat, please? Uh, what's this regarding... So, we've just been handed in some CCTV footage from the uh, Cherry Bar there in Melbourne. And um, they, they've just got some concerns and um, w would like to either get uh, an admission or, um, you know, press charges or, or, or something uh, just regarding some behaviour that you were involved in over the weekend. You know social distancing laws are on, right? Okay, so they, they don't give an exact date. Sorry, that's my bad. They just uh, submitted the footage on the 18th. Um, but it, it obviously must have been before they, uh, all the bars and stuff closed. And they've just handed in some CCTV footage. And um, you've been identified, uh, Matthew, uh, okay. as scanning. Um, from, scanning. from scanning your ID. Um, and yeah, they, they, just, they would like to press charges based on some of the behavior. That, oh, what um, charges? Uh, so there's uh, uh, public urination. You um, are recorded urinating on the front of the bar and also recorded urinating in one of the um, sections of the bar, the, the smoker's area there. So uh, that's the first charge. And the second charge was um, also destruction of property where you were seen uh, smashing some uh, glass, schooner glasses and um, also breaking a, uh, a chair, one of their chairs. No, that's yeah, that's not right at it's all. Bad. Yeah, I haven't been to Cherry Bar in a long time, mate. So. Right. Well, uh, would you be? We've got it we, the we, ideas, look, the we, we've got we've got you on Recorded. file through the um, the ID scanning, and uh, we we just sort of because. You know, we're in the same boat. So a, a lot of the police force are at home at the moment. It sort of takes us a lot longer to process uh, charges and stuff like that. So um, would you be willing to come down to the station and just put in a statement? Because um, the, the Cherry Bar management, they're, they're pretty keen to um, press some charges. Yeah, I don't think I really want to... Do that right. Well, well. Look, mate, mate. I'm just, I'm telling you. You it's either come down to the interest. station, or, or we come interest. and pick you up, and um, and you can make a statement. So it's uh, one or the other. It's not really. I'm not really asking. And yeah, we can come and pick you up in in a in a squad car and and bring you down to the station, or you can just make a uh, an admission over the phone. Well, up to you. Yeah, um, you have to bring me in. All right. No worries. Well, um, are you, are you, are you around uh, tomorrow? Midday. Um, yeah, I should be midday. Yeah, should be. Okay, great. Well, I'll um, I'll confirm with you, and and someone, uh, an officer will call you before we send the squad car out, just to make sure you're home tomorrow. So, why and uh, we'll bring you into colleague? the uh, the station, and just we'll show you the footage, and we'll get either an admission or um, yeah, or, or clear your name. But yeah, the the footage I've seen the footage, and it looks pretty uh, damning there, Matthew. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. No worries. All right, mate. We'll um we'll we'll call you tomorrow, and uh yeah we'll we'll um we'll go from there, eh? Yeah. Alrighty.
No worries, mate. Speak soon. Peace. See you, mate. <laughs> Dude, he's going to be feeling like shit. Let's call him back. All right, we'll call him back. <clears throat> That's so, like, he'd be I like, didn't know where to go from there because yeah, he's going to call say, my bluff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? I didn't know where to. But, like, how do you know all that information? Yeah, I know. Yeah. So, he would be shitting right now. He's in, like, purgatory. Yeah, he'd be shitting himself. All right, I'm going to pretend to be Jack. Jack Black. All right, this is Jack. And say he's on a prank show. This is Jack. Uh, Jack. Jack Black. Jack Black. Uh, yeah. Matt, I was the one who dubbed you in. Why did you rape her? I was the one who... Uh, did, did you Jack really rape her? Did you really rape her? I fucking I dubbed you, you in the cops because you... <laughs> you put your fingers in my drink, cunt. Wait, Jack, who's this Jack? Mate, we met about... Six weeks ago at the Cherry Bar. Yeah, you, right. And you popped a pinky in my drink. No, I don't think so. Ha ha! We got you! Ha ha! You are your prank! Yeah, you've been prank called! Ha ha! Oh, that's it. I was looking forward to going down and seeing some CCTV footage, actually. Yeah, I would have liked to see that too. But um, no, it's just a prank call that your mate sent in. And you're on the Marty and Michael Fully Actual Podcast. Oh, fuck, you can't say. Fucking <laughs> 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 so sick. You didn't, you didn't fucking fall for it. God damn it. Did, did you know something was up? Nah, because, you know, to be honest, I was like, that does sound like something that I could possibly have done. <laughs> yeah, that's what, yeah, that's what your mate said, that you had no idea. <laughs> So, um, yeah, no, that's fucking sick. <laughs> God, I wish you were freaked out a bit more then. You've ruined the prank call. Yeah, yeah it's the <laughs> shittest prank call ever so far this season. Oh, no. That's all right. All right, well, thanks for, um, yeah, we just wanted to call you back and let you know there's not a police car calling you tomorrow. Oh damn! I was looking forward to that. Mate. <laughs> oh yeah, everyone. All right, all right look, we'll, look. We'll call the police. We'll call the police in Melbourne. We'll get them to pick you up. All right. <laughs> all right, mate. All right. Well, fucking che- cheers for being a legend, mate. You fucking cool, cool cucumber, you. you oh, cheers, man. Thanks for putting out some fucking funny shit too, uh, making us laugh, mate. That is our pleasure. And next time we prank call you, just pretend like you know what's you. Just pretend like you're fucking freaking out, okay? It's far more entertaining. <laughs> yeah, no worries. All right, my homie Jesus. I'll chat to you tomorrow morning. All right, catch you, mate. Bye, bye. Sex. I guess. It shows sometimes it's a hit and miss. Sometimes with these prank calls, it is a hit or a miss or both. It's both at the same time. He he was, yeah, far we, too relaxed. We relates. can't help that. And that's why we need detailed. If we had known what he was doing, which they could have sent, then we'd know how to fix that. So if you send just a number saying prank me or prank my friends, shut up. Yeah, you got to give us some back, but that well, that wasn't bad. They gave us a bit of info, but he was just too. He was just like, all right, whatever. He has nothing to lose. He has nothing going on in his life. He doesn't care if he gets arrested. His life would be better if he was in jail, getting served three meals a day. And that's why he was so relaxed about that. <laughs> so make sure you give us a number of people who have something oh, to no. lose. Yeah, yeah. Like that's even last week, the old guy was fucking. You fucked your mum. So chilled about dealing with. Losing it, like he's fucking he had to pay three yeah. bucks. Yeah, it shows we need more details. We need fiery little. It boys. also shows that 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 we are um, also, real. This is all real. The prank calls and the fucking internet is so slow. <laughs> We're the, the best. best. We're, We're the, the best. best. We're, We're the best. best. We're the best. We're the best. My piss, my piss is dribbled.